you complete me. Oh man, that's a recipe for disaster. I hate to break it to you, but anytime we have that idea of you complete me in a relationship, whether that be platonic or intimate, we run the risk of deep codependency. Now, there are many relationships out there where you have this completion feeling. I've had many relationships in my life like that. I love them. You know, this almost like soulmate thing, this maybe like twin flame, somebody that just understands you on a deeper level and it really wakes something up in you. And that's what we love about relationships, you know? We got someone who can see us on our deepest level and they can show us who we are. A person that we don't really even realize we can be. They inspire us. That's the beauty of relationships. At the same time in relationships, we attract the inverse of the energy. We attract our pain. We attract our traumas because everything that we've experienced in the pain and the traumas and things like that of life is still a memory within us. It is like an instinct. So that's buried down deep there. And very oftentimes when we get into a relationship where it's all zingy and it complete me and all the soulmate and all of that stuff, we end up getting blind to maybe how it really feels, what's really going on. We lock into the soulmate aspect and we then can't address the fact that we also attracted someone to show us our trauma. We say, no, you have to keep completing me. You can't also reveal my pain. You can't also reveal my trauma. You still have to be the thing that you were. And we maintain love with an illusion. And it is not love to say, oh, you complete me. It's just some feelings. It's just a nice little zinger for you. It's some emotions that you're having. It's something that is triggered by the other energetic presence. It has nothing to do with completion. It reminds you of who you are. And so when we get into that mode of you complete me, it is a judgment it's saying that you cannot be the person that you are. You have to be just so, so I can be at peace, so I can be happy. Nobody likes a judgment and that's how we end up in our maybe codependent patterns and things like that. We say, okay, well, you are doing this to me. You have to do it better. We start nagging, we start driving on somebody. We start, you know, just, just being an asshole to them because we're the ones in chaos. We are the ones that are not complete. So if you want completion in a relationship, you have to find completion within yourself. You have to find validation within yourself. You have to find wholeness within yourself. No need for another to complete you. I know that's painful. That goes against what society tells you, but that's the reality of it. Whenever we have the philosophy that you complete me, we give our power away. We say, oh, you're in charge of my happiness. You're in charge of my completion. And that, kids, is a recipe for disaster.